Hey everybody, this is Taylor again. We have a new question today that we're gonna go over. This question comes from Dian Dung from Tokyo Institute of Technology, who had a question, how do you go about making nano cluster structures like these in Vesta? So let's talk about that. Um, he asked for it for Cobalt, so you'll wanna go ahead and download the Civ card for the structure that you're interested in. Uh, if you haven't seen me show you how to do that in other videos, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the one for Cobalt, the Cobalt Civ card. So let's take a look at this. When you first pull it up, this is what you see, right? The regular atom, it's not in space filling mode yet. You have to click this box for it to get space filling. So how do we go about making this look like what we want it to look like, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom this out just a little bit. I'm gonna make it uh, so we can fit more on here because there's certainly more than one unit cell in these, in these clusters. If we look at them again, there's quite a few, okay? Now the next thing we need to do is we can use the crystal shape function in Vesta. This is so cool. You go to edit, edit data, crystal shape. So edit, edit data, crystal shape. And when you come here, you can um, create facets for your crystal and, and tell it how far away from the origin you want those to be. So this is an FCC structure. Let's go ahead and make one in the 111 facets. That's a pretty common facet for these things to exhibit. And let's make this, let's say three um, D spacings away from the origin, okay? So let's hit apply and bam, there we go. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna zoom in just a smidge. This is now the structure, uh, one type of structure. Now this one doesn't match any of the ones that you're seeing here. They're slightly modified. So you can obviously do further modifications to this. You can add other facets or a different facet if you want. So let's add a second facet to this one. Again, so edit, edit data, crystal shape. This time I'm gonna add one and let's do the 100 direction, right? So let's add this but I'm gonna make it 2D spacings from the origin. Let's take a look at this one and apply that. So now what you can see is it took that shape from before, but it's truncated it, right? It's chopped it um, along each of the X, Y, and Z directions by going out two unit cells and putting a 100 face there, right? So this one there that I'm hovering over, that would be the 100 face. This is the previous 111 face. So that's looking pretty good. So now how do we go about filling it with atoms like we see here? That's the next step. So. Best way that I know how to do this is you go to boundary. Let's start by going out three in each direction. So negative three, positive three, negative three, positive three in each of those directions and then hit apply. Okay, so this isn't exactly what we want. Um, this is a little bit off, right? But what we can do is we can delete out the atoms that we don't like. So that's easy enough to do. I'm gonna move this over a smidge so my camera's not in the way. Now, what you're gonna do is, you see that there's two different arrows here. The black arrow is, for, is rotating things. That's for free rotation. You can obviously look down different axes just by selecting these, but then this white arrow is for select. Once we do that, let's go ahead and you can highlight these and delete them. Now this is gonna take a minute, so I'm just gonna stop talking and do this and fast forward so you can see, because it'll take just a second to delete out all these atoms that we don't want, just by hitting delete. If it's helpful, you can do specific rotations using this 45 degree angle tool. Just like so. This might open up some easy ways to delete out atoms. Okay, and just like that, I think we've got them all deleted out. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so this is looking better. It's certainly looking more like what we want it to look like. We can zoom in, make it uh, see the different faces, but it's not exactly what uh, Dian was asking for, right? He's looking for it to be the full space structures, right? So we can do that. We just hit space filling. And if you don't like this crystal shape, that gray sort of uh, outline that you can see there, you can turn that off by clicking this radio box for crystal shapes, right? So there you go. That's the basic approach. Now, this may not exactly match what you're looking for, Again, knowing which facets these are, so if the publication said that this was you know, a 112 and a 113 or whatever, you could just plug those in and make it really easy to create the crystal facets exactly how you wanted them. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.